Hi, thank you again for joining us for our Hyper Local Small Business Owner Interview page. And I'm Pamela Church with EXP Realty, and I'm super excited to bring you Cindy Berry Sullivan today. And she has a business called Joy in the Movement. And I met Cindy through social media, and you, you may have seen her out in the community. She's been here for a few months, and uh, she's been out in the community quite a bit, so she, you may recognize her. So anyway, we're going to start off, Cindy. Tell everyone what your business, Joy in the Movement, is. Um, Joy in Movement is actually a hashtag that, that I use for my business because I realized my hands shaking has been an asset in my art making, so that's the movement part. And the joy part is really my joy in art making and in people in, in general. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, you're so talented. So what drives you to do what you do? What motivates you? I love immersing myself in the middle of life and interpreting it. It's almost like I can't help myself, whether it's drawing or writing about it. I just like being that fly on the wall and interpreting things. And I've been that way since I was a kid. That's fun. Wow. Immersion, full immersion. So what is the uh, oddest request you've had from a client? Well, I don't know if I would call it odd, but it was the most challenging was um, a director of the C.S. Lewis Institute in Annapolis, Maryland, said he had a vision for the Navy Chapel. And he wanted to know if I could take out the pews put banquet tables in, um, have midshipmen being served by the chaplain and Jesus hosting. So I was like this film director getting all these pieces together and um, creating this this piece. I don't know if you can see it there. Well, you, you know, know what I'll do? I'll definitely put a photo up oh, okay. while all we're right. talking. So, yes. so that, that was the most unusual one. Uh -huh. Wow. You know, it's always been... Uh, Taking out stuff and then replacing what had to be a big challenge. <laughs> what was the most challenging part of that to you, though, for you? Oh, just just wanting to make sure I got the chapel right uh -huh. because um, it has such a history with people, mm -hmm. and and so I I spent more time on each section of the chapel to make sure I had the the navy flag right and just mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. everything just so. well. It turned out perfect. Thank you. So um, I'm sure our audience will get to see that. Um, so what is the most memorable moment you've had with a client? Well, or I, a customer experience. Well, for the last five years, I've been drawing a lot of live bands. Mm -hmm. And um, my most cool opportunity was drawing at a concert of Big Bad Voodoo Daddy, who's mm -hmm. a swing band. And they took the time-lapse video of my drawing and laid it to their music. On their, on their social media, which was really great. And then they took 100 prints of the drawing, signed it by the band, and I signed and numbered it. And it's for sale as posters, limited edition on their website. So that was the coolest. Wow. Music. So somebody that we can go on their website and see. Yes. It. Okay. Yeah, for the few that have left, out of 100, I think there's about 20 left. Wow, that doesn't surprise me. You did this, what, a year ago? Yeah. You said? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's great. So, Cindy, I know you haven't been here long, right? but as I've noticed, you've been in the community quite a lot. Right. That's how I found you. Uh, what were your favorite things so far in Parker to do? Well, one of the things that drew me to Parker was Main Street downtown because mm -hmm. it reminded me of Annapolis and its charm and, and its history. And so I've, I've figured out the live music venues. Mm -hmm. So I go to <laughs> Blue Note and Wild Goose and Tailgate and Dakota and listen to music. Um, I like going into coffee shops, restaurants, in the middle of the farmer's market, um, to the parks, wherever I could, again, immerse myself right in the middle of things and, and draw them live. And you do such an incredible job at that because the first work I saw of yours was Fika Coffee uh, down on Main Street. And I felt like I was there. You brought in all the warmth and just the whole feel. So, yeah, I can totally see that you immerse yourself and you, you bring that to light for everybody. We, so you do such we a don't, great when you were saying that, it reminds me of um, the connection I feel with musicians. So, it would probably be similar to, to a musician having life experiences and then expressing it in a song. Wow. So, when I have experiences with life, mm -hmm. I like to express them in, in images with color, mm -hmm. bring the emotion mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh, um, one last question. Yes. When you were a young girl, who impacted your life? Is there someone special that impacted your life and what did they teach you? 
Well, my father had drawn charcoal portraits of us when we were babies, and oh. I found them, and it was the first time when I was young that I realized what drawings can do. And he was always very creative and very curious about things, and um, he, he became a chef when he retired. Um, just he used to joke, anything I put my hands on, and I didn't know until after he passed away that on his Navy papers, it said that his hobby was freelance scale drawing. Freehand really? scale drawing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I, I definitely have his kind of eye and curiosity for mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. That's amazing that that's been passed down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, Cindy, thank you so much. And you know, how can our audience get a hold of you? What's the best way to contact you? If they punch in Cindy Barry Sullivan, they can find me many ways through that. Okay. My, my website is cindybarrysullivan.com, uh, which has a contact page. My Instagram and Facebook are both Cindy Barry Sullivan. Mm -hmm. so Your Instagram is fun. Yeah. So that's a great place to find Cindy. So thank you again, Cindy, for your time today and, and helping your neighbors get to know you. Um, I'm excited for you all to reach out to her. Check out her Instagram. You'll see a lot of her work there from around Parker. And uh, I wanted to mention too, before you go, be sure and uh, if you know of a small business owner in Parker, or if you own a small business, and especially if you're geared toward the Christmas holidays or things coming up in the holiday season, I would love to interview you. Just go to the homepage on our Parkridge site on the right side, and you can register there. And until next time, until next interview, again, I'm Pamela Church with EXP Realty. Have a great week. Hey.